Hey guys, it's currently Tuesday, July 27th. Where is this year going? I keep thinking the summer hasn't happened yet and I'm like, no, you're halfway through summer. <laughs> I did not do any meal prep this week. On Saturday, we had some people over, which was really, really nice. Play some beer darts outside in the grass, which is where you, you sit in your lawn chairs in a circle, you have a can of a beverage in front of you and you throw darts at each other's drinks and try to pierce it. We haven't done that in forever, that was nice. <laughs> and then Sunday, I was so exhausted. That's the kind of hangover I get these days. I'm not sick, I don't have a headache. I'm just so exhausted and have to nap frequently throughout the day. <laughs> so I spent my Sunday doing absolutely nothing. But that's kind of nice in a way. So then I was gonna maybe do meal prep Monday, but we also had some stuff left over from last week because I had so many extra portions. We had enough stuff for two days out of this week. So I ended up just getting a chicken pot pie and some pizzas. So we can just throw those in the day we eat them and then have the leftovers another day kind of thing. Like super easy, no prepping <laughs> required. Some weeks I really go all out, but others I just can't be bothered. Like I don't enjoy cooking, so I take as many shortcuts as I can. But instead of meal prepping, I still went out and got groceries, but then also just Chris and I were tidying up, just cleaning up the aftermath, you know, of having people here. We had lots of dishes to wash because we had cooked like pizza bites and stuff like that. One of our friends made jalapeno poppers from scratch, stuff like that. So we, we did up all the dishes and stuff and yeah. Yesterday was also a game stream day, so did that. But yeah, that was my, that's my recap for the last few days. And today I'm gonna be working in my sketchbooks, just doing more sample art. And I did sketch out a Daisy Girl and Mushroom Girl because originally I was gonna do the same art in both sketchbooks. Like, well, there's four technically, because there's two covers, two paper types. But when I say both, I mean both paper types. But I don't wanna do the same art in both. Like I'm, I've already sketched them, but I think I'm just gonna erase them or like tweak them to be a little different. Like they could still be characters. And like the watercolor page could still be a sea creature, but maybe like a dolphin or a turtle instead of a seahorse. Like just switch it up a little bit, you know? Cause I've been dreading doing it cause I just don't wanna do the same art twice, multiple times in a row. <laughs> And we'll see how many mediums I actually get through to demo before they launch because I don't, I don't know. I'm not gonna be able to test like every single thing out there. But over time, I'll have more examples to show and stuff too, I guess. I mean, sketchbook companies don't normally show that many samples anyway. I'm just trying to be a little thorough with it. Oh, and because it did absolutely nothing Sunday, I did not get my print order sent off. So tonight, after I'm done coloring in my sketchbooks, I need to finish cleaning up the flower art, then the shoe flower art, and then get the print orders made. I just don't know how long it's gonna take because I've never ordered from this company before, but they're here in BC, they're on Vancouver Island. I don't see it taking that long to ship and stuff. So yeah, it really is just a matter of how long it takes them to make it, I think, to make the prints. But I just wanna be a little bit on the safe side. But yeah, it's looking like a September release for the shop because it's gonna take a month obviously for the sketchbooks to get here and then I have to check quality check them, put them in their sleeves, that sort of thing, take photos, make the listings. So I wanna give myself a two week window at least for that. Although I don't see it taking quite that long, but yeah, but that puts us in September, which is so much later than originally planned. Huh. Plus we were maybe gonna go visit family at the beginning of September, but that would be the worst possible timing ever. So I don't know. I don't it's also so late that it ruins the opportunity for any kind of Halloween launch, like Halloween update, is that like September would be the time to drop Halloween merch. <sighs> whatever, whatever. Okay, this intro's already longer than I thought. I thought I had nothing really to talk about and I'm still blabbing. I gotta go downstairs and tidy up the room a bit. There's stuff all over the table that I draw on down there. So I gotta clean that up so there's room to do the artwork. Oh, and I also got a Disney doll in the mail. So we'll unbox that later in this vlog, so stay tuned. This is my desk area. If you can call this a desk. <laughs> this is my desk. Could be worse, I suppose. I've been doing a decent job at keeping this room at least semi-tidy, but this is always obviously the messy area because it's a big open surface where I could throw all my crap instead of putting it away. A lot of my stuff ends up over here now because this is my little shelf where I keep all my merch normally, but since I'm down here for the summer, I just... <laughs> I've been putting art supplies in here and like the sketchbooks, Copic chart, paints, pencils. It's all just sitting right there. Here's what I'll be opening up later. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha, Esmeralda, whoop. 
You can go back over here, baby. See, she doesn't really need a stand if she's leaning against something. We still need to replace the batteries in these. I had an incident like a couple weeks ago where both my car fob batteries were dead. This one still needs to be replaced. It's really hard to put stuff away in here when it really doesn't have a place to go. I mean, the varnish could just go back upstairs, but I might want it because I'm still gonna do like the next sculpture from the Nerdy Crafter box, the one with the plaster mold. I'm gonna be working on that, not this week, but maybe next week, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to keep some of the supplies around so that when I'm working on it, I'm not running up and down the stairs constantly. The slippers can stay here, just sit on the floor, I don't know. Oh, that's really sticking. That washi tape really sticks to the paper bags well. Because when it sits for a few days too, it really starts to stick. That's good, that's good. Uh, okay. So for cream paper demos, I've been working in the mushroom sketchbook. And for the white paper demos, I'm going to work in the daisy one just to switch it up. Oh, I did start inking that already. No way. Okay, maybe for those two, I can just stick with the original illustration. Well, at least the first one. I forgot I started inking it already. Like, it makes it easier for me in terms of not having to come up with a concept. It's just like, oh... Doing the same artwork again. Yeah, let's switch to a cloth. We've had this thing long enough. We're sick of looking at it. It's time for a change. I never use this one, but I'm always scared to stain it too. It's also one of the smaller ones. But for marker and pencil, it should be fine. Okay, I'm all set up, I think, and I've got the same colors I used last time to make it easier. Like, I just kept them in a separate box, and I'll maybe open this one just to reference a little bit. Doing this without rotating the paper, help me. Kind of looks bad compared to the other one. They're not the exact same between both. There's an R89 in here, which means I used it somewhere. Maybe I'm trying to use the same colors, but I'm struggling to remember everything. I feel like I did a better job on the first one, but at the same time, of course, I'm going to keep comparing to that one. Like, that's the gold standard. Okay, brown eyes. We got the vlog clip rolling. Go, Bailey, go. I thought I had a bit of black in there. Maybe it wasn't quite. Maybe it was just that cool gray. Unless I put the black marker back in the Copic case, which is a possibility. Oh, well, that's not right now. Gotta fix those lips. Here we go. 
Now, I don't know if I can do this view without my knuckles getting in the way. So then after that live stream, I decided to quickly get in my daily rewards for Fall Guys. That would involve playing two or three games of Fall Guys. So I was like, okay, let's quickly hop in, get those rewards, and good things were happening. There's an achievement for getting five wins in a row. It's extremely difficult to achieve. I have not achieved it. And the most wins in a row I've ever gotten is three, and I've only accomplished that one time. I've gotten two in a row a bunch of times, but three in a row has only happened once for me. But then I started playing, and the wind started rolling in. I was gonna record my gameplay, but I forgot, and what did I do? I went and won the first show I played, and it was Lost Temple. Now that I'm recording, I'm not gonna win anything. in a row <laughs> that means I gotta keep going today new pressure new pressure <laughs> sweaty palms sweaty palms Shit. okay Shit. i knew that'd be the one to get me but my second ever three in a row snowball survival is my nemesis and the rhino, because they're the same game. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I did not get the infallible five in a row achievement, but I did get three in a row for the second time ever, which is very exciting. I'm kind of glad I didn't get infallible off stream, but also I would have taken it. I would have, I would have taken it. I was still recording, still could have shared the footage, but yeah, well, yeah. snowball survival, my nemesis. <sighs> I survived the rhino one though and penguin pool party. It was still all very hype. That was that was very exciting. I've also never won three in a row right off the bat. Like I've won my very first two shows of the day before, but never first three of the day. So exciting. Exciting. And now I need to get to the artwork cleanup so I can submit a print order. Decided to get myself some 
supper, which is more snack platter style. I can munch on this while I'm fixing up my artwork. Use some cherries, cantaloupe, black grapes, beef jerky, and strawberry marshmallows. I did get a question about why I don't use the pen tool for this. Because I do use it for other things like YouTube thumbnails and whatnot. Or when I need something really geometric, but... I erase manually just so I can have a more organic edge. The pen tool is just a little too crisp. I mean, this is a crisp edge, but I guess it just feels too artificial. Like it overly smooths things out. When I erase manually, I can get every little like, every little groove, every little intricate thing. And trying to do that with the pen tool would take longer. Like adjusting the curves constantly for every little edge. Nah. I can get in every little squiggle to make it as close to the original as possible. I just made an accidental discovery. I went to hit the space bar to pan around and I accidentally hit Alt and went like this and realized that as I'm holding down Alt, it's undoing my erasing. Cause I have a bad habit of not using masks. I'm trying to be better about using them, but I started this and I never was using masks. So I guess I just continued to not use masks, but I had no idea you could paint back something you erased. Like, Let's say I accidentally erased this, then I go on and do other things. I come back and I'm like, crap, I accidentally erased that. But I don't want to undo all the work I just did. If you use a mask, no problem. But if you're ever not using a mask, try to hold down the Alt key and undo your erasing. I had no idea. I'm sure so many people know that already, but I didn't. So I just thought I would spread the word. <laughs> but I definitely recommend using masks above doing it this way. So I'm ordering enough prints to cover at least the first half of the sketchbook update because I'm splitting it into two and so um like everything I have here I'm gonna put up for sale in the first batch but I'm just gonna make a new order next time just to double check I like everything because I'm just going all in with this company and ordering a bunch without getting any kind of samples from them maybe not the best course of action but I'm doing it they're gonna send me some proofs before like digital proofs before they print them but I'm doing 300 of cloak, 500 of the dainty flowers, 300 garden bun, 300 hay guys, 400 seahorse, and 500 shoes and flowers. Plus then it lets me just see which ones are most popular and I can reorder accordingly, you know? Cause I really don't know. I'm kind of just guessing here. So uh, time to place this order. 3,600, eesh. Okay, Kiki, the order is placed. Yes, yes, yes. Now, I told you I'm gonna open up that Esmeralda doll, but look what else came today. <laughs> More Esmeralda. There's just not a lot for Hunchback merch, so when it's available, I gotta get it. I mean, I don't know how long this thing's been out. I just grabbed it. So when I searched Esmeralda on the site to get the doll, I saw that and I was like, yeah, I need that. So I'll wait for tomorrow to open that. That's probably pretty much the next thing you'll see. Okay, it's now Wednesday morning. I have to stream soon. But I have time to open up one thing. The figure. Oh, I need scissors, I guess. Because it is taped all around. Actually, wait. <gasps> There's a knife sitting right here. Which one's the blade? Ooh, I don't want to wreck my nail. It's a little warm up here. Temperature's a little higher this week. They're calling it a heat wave, but it's not like that one we got a few weeks ago. That one was crazy. This one's much milder. Ooh. Her hand just busted off. And it looks super scuffed, like maybe in her hair. What the hell? I mean, these things are meant to be a little rustic and not perfectly painted, but dude, what the heck? I can fix it. This piece is awful though. There's black marks all over it. <laughs> but yeah, here she is. Wait, which way does this go? This way. Uh-huh, uh -huh. just pretend that's there. Set that down. <laughs> Other than that, she's very beautiful. Look at her, look at her. 
She matches a lot of the other ones I already have. Um, love these, love these figures so much. Beautiful, beautiful, okay, don't drop it. Oof. Last thing we need is more breaking. Here's the hair though, like here's, there's like other paint there and stuff. I can try to match that with some black paint. Oh, they also gotta match like the sheen, like the texture of the paint too. It might be a little tricky, we'll see. And glue our hand back on. This is what I mean by the black marks on here. Like what, what is this? I don't feel like it's worth trying to get a replacement, especially since they don't ship these to Canada. So I had, or at least like, since I got it from the Disney store, I'm sure I could have found some other shop that sells them, even the paint there. Hmm, paint on the hand. Um, but if I wanted like a replacement from the Disney store specifically, I would have to go through the reshipping service and the reshipping charge is not cheap. Like the shipping costs for reship has gone, it's gone way up over the years. It used to be like $14 plus the reship fee of $5 to reship something. Now it's like $50 for the shipping plus the $5 reship charge. So yeah, I'll just glue it. I'll glue it and paint a little bit whenever I get around to that. Oh, you know why there's probably black on the tambourine. It kind of touches the hair and that would explain the color transfer. That would explain it because it touches so it'd be really tough to paint in that crack. But what I love about these is they have a very carved out look to them. Like even look at her forearm. It's like you can see, looks like she was just carved that way. Whoa. I mean, she was originally. I've created something. There is banana split ice cream with Java monster, <laughs> kind of like a float, but it's not carbonated. So yeah, here we go. I mean, it's still floating. The ice cream's still floating. It's still a float. Doing some squads duos with viewers. Oh, okay. It is about 9.20 right now. The stream went really well, ended just after seven. And then at 7.30, I had a call with some friends. I don't see them often, but we occasionally would get together and discuss like Twitch and YouTube and convention stuff, art stuff, because we have a lot of similar interests. I met them like through the Art Institute, even though we we didn't really know each other really when we went there, but like now we talk and keep in touch occasionally, stuff like that. Anyway, haven't seen them in forever because of the pandemic, but we just had like a little Discord video chat just now. So it was really nice catching up and just kind of talking different things, talking like Shopify stores, Twitch, all the stuff I've, I kind of already listed them all, but yeah, really nice chat. We chatted for almost two hours, just about two hours. Just time flies by, I guess. It's just really nice talking to people with the same interests and things and like, I don't know, it's great. It was a great chat. I do need to still open Esmeralda, but I might save it for the morning because it's like so dark. I want some good lighting. Maybe do it upstairs in the living room again. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, good day. And I keep flip-flopping on my printer, whether or not to bring it down. I think I am gonna bring it down now. <laughs> At least temporarily for the sketchbook sleeves. Cause so I can have them printing tomorrow. And I guess in the meantime, work more on the sketchbook art. Or even, I could even start out with the, um, counting out the little clutches into baggies. I keep forgetting I still have that to do. That'd be kind of a nice change of pace since I did the sketchbook stuff earlier, but like earlier this week. <laughs> but also I have a huge shipment coming tomorrow of shipping supplies. Not everything shipped in this one shipment, but most of it's coming, like all the boxes and stuff. So I probably should make sure we have space for that. But do we? I don't know. Even like the spare bedroom's so stuffed right now because there's stuff I moved out of here, like elliptical, bicycle, whatever. I mean, my bike's not in that room, but there's just like stuff. Everything's just jam-packed. I need to get rid of stuff, dude. But yeah, a whole bunch of boxes and shipping supplies are coming tomorrow. It's everything I ordered except the glassine sleeves and the custom tape. I don't think those have even shipped out yet. I don't know. But anyway, it'd be kind of nice if the glassine was coming because I need to sleeve some more pins, but... It's fine, and uh, yeah, it'll be a lot of stuff to haul into the house. Tired, I'm warm, I gotta close that window. I had the AC on actually today in here. But it's still warm enough that it gets a little toasty in the basement. All right, you guys, it's now Thursday morning and I'm about to unbox 
Esmeralda. Look at her. Look at her. I'm so excited. This box is beautiful, but I don't feel like it suits her that well. So I'm extra excited to get her out of here. I don't like how they chose the reddish color to go with the purple. I wish they would have gone turquoise to match her better because this is like her other color scheme for this other outfit she has dolls of where it's like her purple and red dress, so orangey red. But I just, yeah, I don't know. I don't like the color choice for the box, but it's kind of irrelevant because I'm unboxing her. The back looks very beautiful though. Uh-huh, 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 no yachting. Oh, there she is. So many pieces. Ooh, how am I gonna get into the closet where I store all this? She's number 2,386 out of 7,000. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I keep all these in that closet that's in the warehouse, that little closet. I keep all my boxes in there. <laughs> Eventually, I probably should just get rid of all the boxes, to be honest. And one more tie on the bottom. There was an Alice doll that came out. Uh, I mean, it's a pre-order, so she's not like really officially being shipped out or anything, but she was just available for pre-order this week and I, I passed her up. She was very beautiful, so I was very tempted, <laughs> but I'm trying to be a little more selective with dolls. It has to be one of my favorite characters, just one I, I really like, or an outfit design I really like. I mean, it kind of has to be both. Like there was a a Rapunzel that came out earlier this year and I passed her up because I just didn't really like the way she was done. So the Alice outfit was beautiful, but I was also trying to be like, okay, Bailey, but it's Alice. It's not a character I really care about. Stay away. <laughs> that box delivery could come at any time. I've got my phone out for when they call me because they said it would come between 10 and 2 and it's 10.30. So I could get that call at any time. Okay, here she is. Du, 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 du. I kind of wish they released her back in the day when they would do the dolls differently. They used to use different fabrics. They'd use a lot of like fluffy fabrics and they would do a lot more embroidery. Nowadays, a lot of designs are just printed onto the fabric. It's still beautiful, you know, there's, there's glitter in here, there's little gemstones, but for sure something like, you know, this here would have been embroidered back in the day. Right now, the only embroidery she has is up here on her bodice. So that's one thing I miss about the dolls. And it's another reason why I don't buy as many these days is just because they're not the same as they used to be. She's still extremely gorgeous. Her dress is poofing out way more. This was heavily pinned on this side in the box, like scrunched shut. And so I've released it. I can floof up the skirt a little bit better if I floof up the, the paper underneath. Would have been nice if she had some kind of underskirt. They used to do that too. I mean, they've always come with paper because I still have some old dolls that I kept the paper in the skirt, but they used to have like a little petticoat thing that would fluff up their dresses too. There would just be like more layers, more high quality stuff. Like, I don't know, things have changed over time, but I had to grab me Esmeralda. Oh, and she has a little bracelet on her foot too, or on her ankle down there. There you go. Anyway, I feel like I'm being kind of negative, <laughs> but I love her. I love her. Oh, yes, like there's just not enough hunchback merch. Let's do a little spin around here. There's the back of her hair. She's looking a little squished on the back, a little squished. <laughs> Even though it's a lot of printed detail, I love how, like how busy this looks because some dolls don't get enough detail and they have huge sections of just plain fabric. This, I love how they did put stuff everywhere. Like, they really filled it out and, you know, the addition of these little bead things. <laughs> I love it. It's just like a lot. I love how busy these limited edition dolls are. And so I think they did a good job at that. They did, they did a good job of adding detail while still keeping it a little true to the original outfit. And the sleeves are absolutely gorgeous. I love them. So yeah, there she is, Esmeralda. Du, 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 du. I need to find a place for her in the doll cabinet. <laughs> I am all sweaty from running around and the boxes aren't even here yet. Here's my little setup for today. The printer is right on the table just so I can easily feed more paper into it and deal with it as needed. I'll probably have to refill ink throughout the day too. So I have 
my refill stuff right there. On the floor, I have more paper to feed into the printer. That bin, I thought I could put completed printed sheets into it. I uh, got the computer to rechat. The camera's kind of up and at an angle to see more of the area. It kind of looks like that. Got the AC hooked up and everything. Yeah. I also tweaked the designs for the bags and I added outlines. So it's kind of like a, a hybrid of the past two bag designs. One was just lines, one was just color. This is both, but the lines are thinner than what they were in the line only version. So I'll have to do a test print for that as well, see if I like it. I think I will. It just helps the design pop a little bit more on the bags. And then I thought with my remaining table space, I will package clutches, the locking clutches. Sort those into bags of 10. Well, it's heavy for one hand. Ooh, my thumb. That was a dumb move. That's the Kiki towel. Hopefully that works out. Otherwise, I might just have to lock her out of here. We've already got chaotic kitties. <laughs> Wait. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. No. Kiki. I'm in a spooky. What the? Right. Don't lift the flap. It cancels the print job when you do that. <laughs> cute! Cute! That's the winner. I think that design is the winner. I'm starting mass printing. There are 2,000 sketchbooks, so I need almost 2,000 sleeves. <laughs> She's just so curious. Oh, <laughs> baby. What are you doing? There's nothing there. That's your blankie to lay on. Most sheets are feeding through just fine. We did have a couple jams so far though. <gasps> ah! Haven't got much counting done yet for these. This has been taking all my attention. So right after I stopped vlogging, everything got cursed and every sheet was suddenly jamming. And so... <laughs> I'm doing the cardstock stuffing thing where you stuff the cardstock into the sleeve and we're five for five with those. I really didn't want to have to do that because it's an extra step and requires much more babysitting but since I'm doing like, like originally I thought I could kind of, you know, half pay attention but then when I decided to stream it down here I was like, well, okay, I can pay attention to it. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is just not deal with these and as some are printing I can stuff sheets, like stuff sleeves. Stop the sleeves. You know, instead of doing this in the background, do the stuffing in the background. Because, uh, yeah, this is preventing the jams. I'm really running out of this car stock. This is almost all I have left. There's just a few other... Wait, what did I just do? There's just a few sheets left. This is like my whole stack of card stock. Need to order some more. I still get that hammer mill stuff. Color, copy, cover, whatever, 100 pound cover, color, copy. Update! We've got 100 sleeves, and ever since doing the cardstock method, well, there was one jam incident, but it was like not bad or anything. I just had to feed the paper back through. Other than that, it's smooth sailing, so just gotta go full speed ahead, I guess. Yeah, yeah. This certainly keeps me busy. I gotta be like fast to restuff the sleeves to keep up with the printer. <laughs> She stops when the camera comes on. I can see those bite marks, Kiki. Well, oh, wait, I mean, not Kiki, Dennis. I've been calling her Dennis. Cause she's a menace. What's this? Chaotic Kik. I got through all the cream paper ones. I did 480, might need more, but we're starting there. Just to account for wasted sheets, 
and stuff. Ever since I switched to cardstock, I only had two that would jam. And like, if I refed the paper through, it would not take it. So there's two blank ones just sitting there. But uh, that's way better than what I was doing before. So yeah, I might have to try that with my, uh, my little print sleeves too. I didn't want to do that, but like, it's either that or have them as blank sleeves and it was actually not too bad just sitting at the printer and doing exclusively that like constantly stuffing sleeves it worked out oh what a beautiful baby it's dennis so i can switch to some mushroom ones for a little bit i could do the white paper daisy bags but just for a change of scenery and do some mushroom ones also it's 5 20 the delivery did not come not that I need it today, but they said they've delivered today between 10 and 2. So I don't know what the deal is. Maybe it'll come tomorrow. I really have no idea. All right, printing one mushroom sleeve just to see if it's all good before we commit to mass printing. Looks pretty good. I'm trying to decide if I want to lighten the outlines a little bit, but maybe a bit. Now six o'clock, got through 50 mushroom sleeves. So all in all over 500 for the day. And I even spent that first while kind of troubleshooting things. So yeah, it goes by pretty fast. And stuffing the sleeves, although it's an extra step, if I'm doing just that and feeding the printer new paper, it's kind of perfect timing. Like the speed at which it's printing and the speed it takes me to prep the next sheets, it's almost perfect. So works out. And I'm gonna try my hardest to get these done soon like i have the printer here so i want to keep working on this but yeah maybe i'll get a chance to work on some of them on the weekend um for sure tuesday stream i'll do more of this i was real excited to show you guys all the box stuff but i guess that'll be the next vlog i need to get editing this sucker so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one and then i made her bodice area of her dress darker but it's sort of weird looking if it's just that i want to make this bottom part dark as well that's a change i've been thinking about for a long time i really should have done that sooner <laughs> but whatever i did originally say with this piece you know i want it to take a long time and like